Keep it going for our next performer, John DiBiagio! cop right there. So what's up guys? Uh, before we jump in the comedy bedroom together, I want to let you guys know me. Uh, my name is Tom DiBiazio. I'm 20 years old from Norwood, Massachusetts. My uh, hobbies include uh, poetry, reading, and hanging out at an elementary school with a box of chocolates and a puppy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you guys notice like I'm walking around, I got a, like a fat kid walk, you guys notice that? Yeah. A little like fucking weeble wobble but I won't fall down and walk. I used to be like 220 pounds when I was like a preteen, like 13, 14, whatever. And uh, I just lost like a bunch of weight and uh, I didn't like fucking do anything, you know, because I'm still like a lazy fat shit. I don't do anything to like better myself. Like, this is how fat and lazy I am. The other day, like, I ordered Domino's Pizza online. <laughs> Anybody ever done it? Like, I'm like, you know, fuck it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fat and lazy and not cook anything. Might as well be fat and lazy and not call them, you know? <laughs> so, I call them up and, like, the cool thing about it, like, after you place your order, it has, like, this pizza tracker thing. Yeah, that shit. I didn't think it was real either. I saw it online. I'm like, bullshit. And I went on there. It's like, whoa. Did they tell you where your food is? <laughs> it's like Brad is preparing your pizza at 7.35 p.m. I'm like, shit. That's amazing. Tells you when it's going in the oven. Tells you when it's in the car. Tells you when it's on your front fucking step. <laughs> but really, like, how stupid is that? Do you really need that shit, you know? Like... How fat can Americans really be when they're like, where the fuck's my food? Oh, it's right there. It's in the oven. All right. You know lots of stupid fucking diet books? Anybody ever read a diet book? This stupid. Okay. This stupid. I don't even know what, who the first person to read a diet book was. Because it's fucking retarded. I mean, like, come on. Is it really, do fat people need to be reading books? That's the last fucking thing they should be doing is sitting down reading a book. <laughs> so you guys know those uh, Gagwa.com commercials? The one with the caveman? The Gagwa.com, so easy a caveman could do it. I like them, but I got my own. I don't want to try them out for you guys. You mind? Okay. Um, I got a uh, guy go dot com. So easy a retard could do it. Yeah, How about guy go dot com? So easy George W. Bush could do it. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, guy go dot com. So easy a woman could do it. Me or the other guy. Why does everybody fucking say that? Is it like, do I not look like I can fight? I'm gonna stop asking people. But you're right. The other guy did win. You, you wanna know why? Because I smoke a pack of cigarettes a day, you know? Like, I, I was, we didn't even get physical. I was out there in the fucking argument, man. It was like, dude, man, you're fucking really pissing me off with this shit. I heard you talking shit about me. I ain't gonna take this shit no more, all right? I'm gonna whip your fucking ass right here, right now. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> You're gonna get your face kicked in. Yo, get my inhaler in the car, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> oh, boy. It was pretty bad. He whipped my ass. But, uh... I like to talk about something, uh, you know the Cadillac Escalade? I believe the Cadillac Escalade was manufactured for two types of people. Gangster rappers and middle-aged men that can't get it up anymore. 
Not fucking soccer moms, okay? I'm tired of seeing soccer moms driving these huge fucking SUVs. Like, I never seen an MTV Cribs with like a like a soccer mom. Like, okay, now you see my crib. Now let's go out to the vehicles. Okay, this is my black on black Cadillac Escalade 2007 series <laughs> with the spinning rims. Yeah, I be shining when I go to the grocery store. <laughs> All right, man. I need something to be out of here. Thank you, guys.